Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to quickly go over some of the updates we did in version 4.5.09, released February 2nd, 2014. Uh, the first one is we changed the update in odometer and hour screen uh, for a single piece of equipment. That is over here on Equipment Summary tab and then underneath the Update Odometer and Hours. And if you click View All here, you can see here that we've added the ability to sort these columns, highest to lowest, by any of these four columns. We've also added selectors to the left hand side you can, so you can select and delete multiple entries all at once. So that is the first feature. Let's go to the next one. And we have changed the force update button to read refresh instead of equipment summary tab. And that is right here. Now it says refresh instead of equipment summary, which makes a little bit more sense. And basically that just refreshes this equipment summary tab if we've made updates like on the loop service tab and you're not seeing the changes over here, you can click refresh and it'll refresh the data over there. And let's see, next here we've got added uh, work orders, report, take that extra report, uh, report called um, completed uh, work orders by equipment number with complete date criteria underneath reports or reports. Go over here to reports, more reports, go to work orders, and we're going to see here completed grouped by equipment number with the complete by date. So that'll show you your list of uh, equipment uh, for if you want to see everything that needs to be completed during a certain date range. can actually help you to find uh, to see how well you did as far as if you had a complete by date and see when they were completed. Next step we got the added new ability to do bulk odometer and hours entries. So if you go over here to uh, forms and then we've got a new item down here called bulk odometer and hours entries. This will actually bring up your whole fleet and you can, if you click on any one of these entries in here for the equipment number, you'll see that the current odometer in hours is listed here. Um, we have a threshold, so that if you go over that threshold or for either the hours or odometers, it will give you a warning and it won't accept the entry that you make. So you can go here and add your odometer in hours meter uh, readings to every piece of equipment in your fleet from this one screen, and then you can click save and close and it'll update every piece of equipment or you can uh, export this list here to Excel and that'll give you a template. You'll see here if I click on that that shows you where it is and it puts it in the same location of where your data file is and then it uh, gives you this file here Then you can open that in Excel and you can copy and paste your stuff into that and then import it back from Excel with that same file name. Um, you can go over here to Day Sheet, Sheet View and you can actually copy and paste directly into this form if you want to as well. So those are possibilities for you on that screen. And then we've got the added the location and department slash area to the all equipment based reminders screens and reminders reports. So if we go to uh, forms and then reminders pop up and let that run. Okay. And um, you'll see here that we have the department or area and location uh, listed on any all of these uh, screens and when you click to print these down below it'll print out actually this one isn't um, that one wasn't drivers is not equipment based so you're not going to see a location department or area but anything that's a department uh, has is equipment based and has those fields that you see down here location department or area it will um, show up on the reminders pop-up screen and on the printouts that you get from those screens. And let's see here, finally we have, we've added the equipment description to the permits, um, inspections, reminders report. So if we go down, okay so we're looking for the uh, permits and inspections which is right here and you can see now that we've added the description of the equipment 
we've added that field in there as well so that can be seen and that's it for the updates for version 4.5.09 hopefully these will be helpful for you and thanks for watching have a good one take care